But yeah, I know if I go back there, I won't get another good cup again. I had a great cup of coffee in industry as well. Industry is good, yeah. Like they were doing the barn, it was like liquid hazelnuts. It was just yeah. pure nutty. And I, I was just, um, I was at that phase where I was drinking nothing but espresso. Oh yeah. Um, because I was trying to get more actual coffee into me every day, so I didn't have time to drink Americano, so I just drank espresso yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, efficiency, you know? Yeah. And uh, I remember, isn't it, Caff is pretty much across the road, isn't it? Right across yeah. the road, yeah. The only place in my life where I've ever been served by a Brist who twirled his scarf around his neck before he served me. Love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether we should put this out there or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, yeah, and like they were always good. In yeah. fairness, too, but I remember hitting there and going to industry and popped in the Irish design shop, which is pretty oh close, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. And then the Clement and Pico was around nice the corner. Well, yeah. And like, that's the thing in Dublin, you could do mm. a tour. Nice crawl, like yeah, a really yeah. nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Project Black in Ranla, actually. Never been there. Yeah, at 250 Square Guys. Man, I had a sad They're good, coffee. Yeah. Their one in um, the actual 250 Square spot is nice. I like it, like, it's different. It's like a little hall. Set up is weird, but it's cool. It was also like the nicest, you know, it had the look interior wise in Ireland that you normally see in all these cool coffee shops that are popping up in Indonesia and Taiwan and stuff. Oh, you know, like yeah. Marble and black, and oh, just yeah, like yeah. you can just see, like they must spend the whole time cleaning. Yeah. It's the cleanest it's coffee counter. As well. Like, Jesus. Here, here, here's a pro tip, lads. If you ever become a barista, don't like your shoes. Because every pair <laughs> oh, of shoes yeah. you own is going to get destroyed. Yeah, right? Absolutely. You're going to spend your day going like, I put this thing on the rack and the machine is designed to grind the coffee into it. So in theory, <laughs> that coffee should just go into the cup, but somehow it ends up like, like your fingers, oh, like look like you're a smoker, but you don't smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. yeah, they see it on the nails like, what were you doing? Yeah. It's actually coffee. There's coffee everywhere. There's coffee in your shoes. <laughs> and then on the days when you like accidentally double, have you ever double racked by accident? No. I have the mythos set so that oh, it just do, dials yeah, the yeah. run. Oh, so yeah, instead yeah, of having yeah, to hold yeah. it, so sometimes you're busy and you turn and you do this thing where you accidentally hit the mythos. And, and then, like, you know, you've made enough coffee in your life, you know what, those two shots are not going to sit on top. But you still hold it there desperately, trying to balance this expanding cone oh, of ground yeah. coffee. I remember when I was starting out, like, I didn't know about that and it happened to me and I just, like, panicked and just kept <laughs> coming out. Continuous See, mode. Really <laughs> sweat just dripping <laughs> off, you go, like, what do I do? Yeah, that's the worst. I, I have done continuous mode accidents where I've been cycling through in the mythos. Oh yeah. And I've forgotten to cycle all the way back through and I rack it and I walk away like I normally do. Just something else. Oh, and yeah. I go, man, that's it's a long <laughs> shot. <laughs> I just see this pile of coffee just pouring down the side of the whole thing. Like, oh. Um, probably shouldn't say this, but you should see the ground in Cali at the end of any day. <laughs> <laughs> it is shocking. It's just like one of those Irish pubs with sawdust on the floor, <laughs> except for it's... It's coffee, yeah. Yeah. literally. <laughs> Yeah, it is bad. Um, <coughs> yeah. But that's inevitable. That's just the way it is. I know, yeah. I had, uh, when we first opened Cali, I had yellow Nike plain ones, but um, I knew they were going to get wrecked. And like, they're like black now. Oh, like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, threw them away, there, everything. Got these, so these are the next ones to go. Oh, yeah. But they're black, so. They're black already, so yeah. you're halfway <laughs> yeah, Exactly, yeah. yeah. It'll um, last a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I suppose we should actually talk about what we're here to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that old thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> one of the things we had been talking about was finding good coffee in Ireland. And um, something I just started doing recently was I started building myself. I think I sent you, I think it's just like a Google map where I mark all the coffee shops that I know in Galway. And then I started marking all the ones I know in Cork and Dublin, the places I want to go that I haven't had a chance to go yet. Yeah. But that's fine for those of us who work in the industry and stuff. Yeah. And you mentioned that you have so many people who come into you that are going yeah. on trips and... I suppose the thing is that if you give a recommendation to someone about, as a coffee shop, if you give them a recommendation, you only want to give them a recommendation for somewhere that you really trust, exactly. you know, and you know we're going to do a good job. But for, you know, the average Joe who may not be in that many places that often, what would you be your advice for how to find good coffee? Yeah, um, like I said, yeah, like you said, sorry, is that, yeah, you want the coffee spots that you suggest to be good. Um, because at the end of the day, they're going to think of you when they're going in there. And they're like, why the hell are these? Why are you them here? Yeah. <laughs> and then they start thinking about their time in your store, and you're like, don't think about that. Don't think about time in our like, store. Maybe it wasn't that good. Maybe yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. It was a perfect moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, for me, it's like on Instagram a lot, actually. It's, it's generally, if you're into your coffees, you hear, you're following people who are into the coffees, and then it's always post up where they are. 
Uh, and that's always great because you can check their posts, you can check where they're at, and then you can kind of take note of it. Um, but for people who aren't really into it but are wanting to have their mm. coffee spots, I know that the Irish chapter of the Specialty Coffee Association, mm. they have an interactive map on their website yeah. um, that goes on and says uh, where the roasters and good coffee shops are. Um, yeah. And that's where I would go as well. Um, and Indie Coffee Guide? Indie Coffee Guide, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Actually, I mean, yeah. it's not completely comprehensive, and it won't be because with everything has gone on, it hasn't been published since 2019, yeah, nearly 2020, and yeah. the, there's probably more coffee shops that have opened now than there were in yeah. 2020. Yeah, um, definitely. The Instagram thing is a good point. What I actually would say to people is, if you're interested in a place, hop on, and if within a few posts you don't see them talk about the coffee they use, that's because it's not important to them. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I see places that follow us, sometimes I might not know when I scroll through them, and I'm like, I can't see any details about mm. what they're doing, who they're serving, how they serve anything. They show me a picture of a sandwich and that's nice, but like, who does your coffee? Mm. I think that, that's always for me a real trigger one. Yeah. The first thing is if it's not like front and foremost to yeah. what they're doing, yeah. then it's an afterthought. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, and exactly, let's, yeah. Let's be honest, I understand not every shop can be specialty coffee because for so long people just wanted to get into the game and they just went to some of the new or the supply and I won't particularly name names but there's been a couple of brands that do service a lot of the major chains and this is going to come back to price like we talked about in the last episode again but if any place is offering you cheap coffees there's a yeah, reason it's cheap. That's a big one yeah. You know? That is a big one. You know? Yeah. Um, I remember someone saying to me when we opened here first they're like oh well can you do the early morning two euro coffees like such a place does and I was like no. <laughs> Why would I? Yeah. 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 The price of the coffee didn't change early yeah. in the morning. Like. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, on the con like, contrary, in certain places like capitals, um, you might have people who overcharge. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to go like, that is a crazy amount. Yeah. Like, I heard 350 for an espresso in Dublin somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that's someone who is taking advantage of the market, unfortunately, yeah. um, and probably doesn't care as much for the coffee be like, because of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in the middle, you know. Because um, God knows out of the 350, it's not like, you know, the roasters and the farmers are getting paid more out of the exactly. 350. You know? So they don't, <coughs> if that's kind of, you know, the way they want to approach it, then yeah. my, in my head I'm like, well, maybe their attitude towards coffee in general isn't you yeah. know, where it should be. Yeah, um, yeah. otherwise, um, if I'm traveling, there is a great one called the European Coffee Trip, and on their Instagram. That's really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. they have, um, on Instagram they show a load of, um, cafes, but also they have a website, and you literally talk in the city you're in, yeah, you're yeah. in Cork, Dublin, Galway, even Europe, Europe wide, um, yeah. and they're really great because they actually yeah. look into the cafe, what they yeah. do. They'll state <coughs> their equipment, like what grinder was. Yeah, uh, you guys had a feature then. We you? did, yeah. Uh, really lucky to get in there, um, yeah. and yeah, it's it's always great because they do want only great co uh, mm. coffee shops and ones that really care about the coffee. Yeah. So I usually, I actually would trust anything that they would say. Yeah. Um, so that's a good one as well. It's funny because I had this conversation similarly with someone else about how like, it's kind of subjective, but like the certain, unfortunately, <laughs> this is the reality of life, lads. Certain people's opinions, some of them your friends, you shouldn't trust, you know? <laughs> Especially when it comes to food and drink. Yeah. Because for some people, price point or whatever is, is more important. Yeah. I mean, if someone's telling you about a great coffee shop, but they can't tell you it's a great coffee shop because of the coffee, mm. then mm. also to me, you know, they need to be able to identify what it was about it. Mm. Like we talked about at the, at the moment, you, you have a really good or really special coffee somewhere, you will remember, you know? Mm. Yeah. Um, I remember in early days before um, we started stocking other roasters and we were just using calendar in the first few weeks and months we opened, I happened to be in Cork and I was in Stone Valley and I didn't say anything to the lads about who I was, so I didn't want to be that guy. Like I just went yeah. in and bought a coffee. I went outside and drank the coffee. I went straight back in and I was like, hey, do you supply other places? Because it was just so damn good. Yeah. And the coffee was called Hot for Teacher, it was a Rwandan, and it just tasted like someone had blitzed blueberries into a coffee. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and I think you'll remember those kind of moments. Yeah. So maybe if someone is recommending a place, you ask them, you know, the specifics of why, yeah. you know? Yeah, true. Not like the anecdotal, well, I was there when I was 12 and I loved it, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like with the Instagram and social media, Everywhere is trying to be as uh, aesthetic as possible. <coughs> and so they're trying to look Instagrammable. And that's where people get caught out majorly because they walk in, they see this <coughs> place is class, you should try that place. Why? Because yeah. it looks good. 
Yeah, but have you tried the actual coffee? I don't trust any place, and not just coffee shops, anywhere that looks too good on Instagram, yeah. that they've put too much effort into making their feed look clean or all the same colour. I'm like, geez, lads, you must spend a lot of time on that, but you could be doing yeah. on something else. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, yeah. I say that like an excuse for my own haphazard Instagramming, but it's fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> but it's, we're focusing on the coffee quality here, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. We're fine. exactly. We get away you know? with it. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, and also too, like, no more than the mask in you in the shop, I always say to people, like, don't be afraid to, like, we all know people and have friends in this industry, so if you are planning a trip, especially somewhere in Ireland, shoot one of us a message on Instagram mm. or whatever. Absolutely. Or a coffee shop you trust and respect on Instagram. Yeah. I'm sure they'll only be more than happy to send you to a good coffee shop because they might know them or it's it's they might want to try themselves that's or get point. feedback or equally it's just enough that they're sending them to somewhere good that's going to overall elevate people's experience of coffee in the country so once again it's just back to like education and yeah. just, you know and the exposure. onus is on us to like you know like we said <coughs> at the start we want to give a good recommendation yeah, to someone yeah. Yeah. So if you go into the coffee shop that's local to you, ask them, mm. uh, where would you go if you're going here or where's close mm -hmm. or whatever? Yeah. Um, the likelihood is they'll give you a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to. Right. So I think for today, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks very much. And catch you in the next one. Yeah.